one. You knew I was a little ass girl when you met me. Why are you acting different? Cause why are you being weird to me when you knew I was 15 when you met me? What's that about? Before we get started, I want to tell you guys about the coffee that I've been drinking recently. If you're not new to my channel, you know that I love coffee. I drink it almost every single morning because it gives me the boost of energy I need. One coffee that I've been drinking in particular is the Javi's Microdose 30 Coffee Concentrate. Essentially what this is, is highly concentrated coffee that puts all the flavor of artisan beans into a small bottle so that you can use that coffee concentrate in all of your favorite drinks. That includes any type of liquid, so milk, water any type of creamer you want you could put this coffee in it i like using javi because it's quick it's convenient it's easy and it's not as messy as grounding coffee beans which can really be a pain sometimes so i like using this because it gives me instant coffee on demand anytime i want to use it not to mention right now they're having a holiday sale so if you want an extra 25 percent off your bottle use the code holiday and tell them that leah sent you y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl leah Lohan, here and i'm back Get it again with another freaking video. If you're in my channel, hey girl, hey, my name is Leah. I make videos, I make story times, hauls, I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So it's like for the kids, you know the vibes. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey friend, how are you? I hope you're doing wonderful, fabulous, beautiful, amazing. So you guys, welcome back to yet another video. And this is of course another story time. So happy story time Sunday or whatever day I dropped this video. Um, Quick disclaimer before we start this this story um i know i was doing vlogmas and i decided we're not gonna do that no more um yeah we're not gonna do vlogmas anymore and the reason why is because i have been in a really bad like mental funk for the past few days and you know this is common it's something that happens all the time but this time i think vlogmas has something to do with it I don't feel like I'm pushing out the videos in the frequency that I want to and I also don't really like the quality of my videos either because my story times are super short and I want them to be longer but I feel like I am slowing down on these story times because I want to film like three four of them in a day and I like if you if you're a content creator you know that sometimes like doing work like this can be more mentally exhausting than physically exhausting so I decided that I'm actually only gonna film one story time a day in order to give you guys the best quality work that I can offer you know because I'm a quality bitch so, <laughs> all right all right let me stop but yeah yeah so of course my Christmas decorations are still up because it's still December ho 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 on you hoes but I'm, I'm not, this is not Vlogmas. This is just Leah posting another video. So I hope you guys continue to watch and I hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna try this again next year. Okay, so this is the story time about, I don't know what I'm gonna name this, but y'all are gonna see as it goes on, I guess. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I just wanna start this video by saying that I am not trying to be mean girl. I am not trying to be, you know, too spicy and nothing like that towards anyone who goes to alternative school. I, if I make any comment in this video, it's directed at those two people specifically, not anybody else who goes to alternative school or has struggled academically. Like, that's not what I'm trying to do here. So don't, don't be up in arms in the comments because I'm letting you know right now. Okay, so this story starts in when I was in my sophomore year of high school because as y'all know, as as y'all know, I made the worst decisions when I was in high school. Um, and it's not because my mother didn't raise me, right? I think, I, I really feel like at some point in high school, my brain was just not braining. Like it, it wasn't given what it was supposed to give because I made the worst decisions in high school. And if you are not new here and you've watched my old story times, you know that I was doing a lot when I was in high school. And that's why I have all these stories, right? So of course this happens back when I was in high school and it happened in my sophomore year. Now y'all know that I was going through a lot of like boys in high school and when I say that I don't mean like on some treachy shit I mean like I was talking to and I was dating a lot of boys without actually doing anything with them um they never hit second base I'll tell you that much but there was a point where I wasn't dating anymore and I was on tagged now like I said in my old story time tagged was a website that was like myspace and I know some of y'all ain't nothing but five so myspace if you don't know Google it, okay? Tagged was like MySpace and it was the same in the way where like you could do like graphics on your profile, you could do like add videos and you could add like music and stuff like that. It was that type of thing. But honestly, 
most of the guys on tag were really just trying to look for people to talk to and get to know but i did get some really good friendships out of tag which will be another story time sometime soon anyway my point is every day after school after i did my homework after i ate showered all of that i would get onto tag there was always like a few requests in my inbox for whatever reason some of it was just guys trying to be freak nasty i'm 15 i'm 15 you need to back up off me like it some of the messages off bat was just like you need to be jailed you actually need to be thrown under the jail um but some of the people started off with like really good conversation they were really funny they always made jokes and stuff like that and we ended up like being really cool like online friends now at the time being friends with someone online wasn't as accepted as it is right now right now you could be anybody online you can meet your best friend online you can meet your long lost sister your brother your uncle your father anybody online honestly and nobody even bats an eye a lot of people meet their long life partner their husband their whoever online i don't know who was out here meeting people at starbucks but it ain't a lot of us i'll tell you that right now I get on tag one day after school and I get a request from this guy and for the purpose of this video we're gonna call him Goofy because he was a goofy ass nigga of course. I get this message from this guy named Goofy and I remember he started off the conversation by making a joke about the type of music I had on my profile. Like I said you can have music on your profile and I used to rotate the music that I would have on a weekly basis. So every week it would be the song that I'm listening to most frequently. So he made a joke about whatever it is that I was listening to. Honestly, it was probably something crazy like Kesha or somebody. I, it, it was probably something crazy. So I get to his message and he's making fun of my music or whatever, but he's teasing. It's not anything vicious. It's not malicious. It's like a joke. It's a, it's a jokey joke. So I'm laughing back with him and I'm like, let's see what you got up your arsenal. So I go to his profile and I hear the music that he has. And I'm like, you know what? Since I'm here, since I'm here... Let's do some snooping, okay? So I go on his profile, I see the music he has, I see the graphic he has. I remember specifically it was like red and black graphics on his page. Um, and then after that, I was like, let me just go to his his album, see, see what he's working with. So I go to his profile picture and I'm gonna paint you guys a picture of what this man looks like. I could tell he's tall and he was, he was six foot. He was tall, he was slender, but he was kind of built. Like you could tell he had abs, I'm not sure if it was just his rib cage. I, th I think it was abs. Anyway, he had like a, a body, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't all sticks and bones. He had a body on him and um, he was wearing like gray sweatpants and the picture was kind of black and white, but not really. It wasn't like super, super black and white. Anyway, he also had these neck braids and that's how I should have known that he was going to be goofy because it wasn't given what he thought it was supposed to give it, it really wasn't at all it was very much given that one man on the Tyler Perry movie like no no the braids I was not a fan of so I see his like what he looks like but I'm like I'm not thinking anything of it I'm not like oh my god Jesus I'm not mm, mm, I'm not ooh I'm not doing none of that I'm just like oh, okay like he's he's okay then I started looking at other information of his so like where he's from obviously he's from Brooklyn and I see that he's 21 now mind you i said i was in my sophomore year of high school and at the time i was like what 15 so he's 21 or whatever and i'm like well what do you want with me so i go back to our message and i'm like oh you got good taste in music or whatever and i'm also like but i saw that you're 21 like why are you hitting me up you know i'm 15 right he was like, like oh yeah i saw in your profile that you were 15 but you seem to be mature for your age I know I have a lot of subscribers that are under 18, under 21, and you guys are young ladies. And so I'm your big sister, right? If you don't have one, listen to what's coming out my mouth right now. If you start dating a man or if a man approaches you and you are 15 and he's 21 and he says to you, you seem to be mature for your age, run, run, run. Make like Elsa and let that man go. I'm serious. I'm serious. Because at the end of the day, men who are 21, men who are 18, 19, 20, they have nothing in common with you at 15 years old. You guys literally have nothing in common. A man who is 21 and is trying to prey on a 15 year old is just trying to groom her so that she only knows him and when she loses her friends and when her mom gets tired of her shit dealing with the older man she'll only have him to rely on so if a man approaches you and he says you seem to be mature for your age run 
okay don't say I never told y'all nothing. So when he told me this, I was like, oh, okay. Um, of course I was gassed as usual because when you're young and men tell you stuff like that, you just eat it up, you eat it up. It's just so yum yummy, like, mm, mm, mm. God, I was making bad decisions. Anyway, so I ate that shit up. And another reason why I didn't look at it funny is because I was kind of mature for my age and everybody always told me this. Like even my family members, my uncles used to tell me that. Not not in a weird way, like I'm, I'm serious. Like my aunts used to tell me that. Everybody used to tell me that I was mature for my age. I never really gave teenager because for the most part I never did um, things that teenagers wanted to do. I snuck out only once. I never wanted to go to teen pasa pasa parties. I was nothing like that when I was in high school like never ever so it wasn't weird that he was telling me I'm I, I seem mature for my age but at the same time we literally just started this conversation you know nothing about me you know nothing about me except for the fact that I'm 15 and I live in Brooklyn how do you know that I'm mature for my age like I said red flag so we get to talking or whatever and I'm like oh like you're 21 does that mean that you're in college like what do you do this man says to me, I'm in school. So I'm like, oh, okay, like what college do you go to? Because you know, when you're 21, you're in college, right? Nope. Right? Mm -mm. This man says to me, no, I'm not in college. I'm in high school. If two plus two is four and X minus Y, how are you in high school? How? I thought you said he was 21. And so when I read that, I kind of was just like, what, bro, what are you talking about? You just, what? I need an explanation. So I'm like, wait, I thought you said he was 21. How are you 21 in high school? He was like, like oh, um, I'm basically in an alternative school. I never really did my assignments when I was supposed to be in high school. I never turned anything in on time. I always skipped school. I never did anything. And so they kept holding me back. And I'm like, what happened to the No Child Left Behind program? What happened to that? Did they forget you? Because what? So he's basically telling me how he's in an alternative school. And he's been in an alternative school for like two, three years or whatever. And I'm like, bro, okay, that's embarrassing. Even though I was eating up everything he was saying, I knew at the same time that shit is not supposed to happen. You're not supposed to be 21 in high school. Like, uh-uh. He didn't have a learning disorder. There was nothing wrong with him except for the fact that he didn't want to turn in assignments. And that is not a flex. At your big, 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 big age, the least you could do is turn in some school assignments and graduate. I, I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. So he's telling me how he's still in school, da 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 da. He's giving me some sob story about how um, he just never wanted to turn in assignments, was never motivated by school, whatever whatever so i'm talking to him and i'm like you know what this is not an issue because at the end of the day the most me and this guy are going to be is friends i just came here for friends you're 21 you're not even that much of my type it doesn't matter me and goofy get to talking and we're talking more and more each day i want to say like we talk to each other maybe about for two hours each day after school so i would talk to him very frequently and in about like week number three or whatever we became super super close now, mind you, week three, still didn't meet this guy. I have no idea what he looks like in person, but he sent me pictures of him, da 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 whatever, it's fine. So we're talking, we're getting a friendship going, and I'm not thinking anything of it. Now, week five comes, and Goofy says to me, You know, I wasn't going to say anything because I didn't know how you would take it, but I'm really starting to like you, and I want you to be my girlfriend. Goofy, I thought we was going to be friends. I... I I thought we were gonna be friends. How how did you arrive at me being your girlfriend? So I'm like, I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I I literally laughed because I was just like, what are you talking about? We were just friends this whole time, and now you're springing on me that you want me to be your girlfriend. I don't get it. So he's like, yeah, you know, the whole time I've been talking to you, I really was feeling you. I really like you. Like I said, I think you're mature for your age. You're the perfect girlfriend. I think my mother would love you. I think my little sister would love you. You're everything I always wanted in a woman. First of all, Mr. Man, I am not a woman. I am not a woman. I don't have bills. I don't got loans. My mama still cooks my food. What do you mean I'm a woman? What? I'm, I'm a, who was going to tell me? He's like, oh yeah, you're everything I ever wanted in a woman. And I'm eating this shit up, obviously, because I'm stupid. So I'm eating this shit up. And I'm like, oh, like, that's so cute. To be honest, I never really saw you in that way. But we're really good friends. So I'm not saying it could never happen. Da 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 da. Now, when it comes to me, when it comes to me, 
I'm gonna make bad decisions. Cause a week later, I was this nigga's girlfriend. Yes, yeah, 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 I'm not gonna lie to you. I was his girlfriend. Yup, yup, we're just gonna leave it there. So <laughs> week six comes and I'm his girlfriend or whatever. Mind you, again, never met him in person. Now, when I was in the 10th grade, I became a writer and a lot of people don't know this but I am a writer I do write and I've been published about like three four times in like actual publications um so what started that was when I was in 10th grade when I was in 10th grade I had an English teacher who like through writing assignments and stuff like that she always saw that I could actually write and I had a talent so she would like push me and like try to get me to pursue writing but I never really wanted to do it for whatever reason until one day we had an assignment and the assignment was to write a short um, fictional story that would be entered in a contest. And it wasn't, it wasn't a choice, you know, we had to do it for an assignment. So I wrote my little story or whatever. The story was actually about this guy from a guy's perspective. He was a guy that was in my grade and he had a teacher who would like bully the kids basically and tell them that, you know, they weren't gonna be shit in life. We all had a teacher like that, right? So I wrote a story like that and of course, she enters mine in the contest and I became a finalist. Part of being a finalist meant that you had to go to the Brooklyn Book Festival, read out your piece in person to like a crowd of people in Brooklyn in front of the like um, municipal building. And then after that, they would choose a winner. I didn't want to do it, but it's already in there. So, so I'm gonna I'm do it. So I get home and I tell Goofy about this and he's like, oh my God, that's so cool. That's so dope. I'm so glad you have a talent. And you're not one of these girls that don't know how to do anything. Okay. So he's like, I'm going to support you. Are you ready? Do you need to read it out loud to me? Are you good? Da, da, da. So I tell him that I'm nervous because I've never really read my work out to a group of people before. Like, I don't really know. I, I feel like I'm going to get anxiety about it. So he goes, how about this? How about... I come to the book festival, I sit in the crowd, and you could know that somebody's there for you and it would make you feel less anxious. Like, how does that sound? So I'm like, oh yeah, like that's a good idea. It sounds so good. I would be so happy to have support from somebody. So he's like, bet. Book festival comes and I remember what I was wearing. I don't know why I remember these things, but I got up, I did my hair, I went to the book festival, and then I'm sitting on stage. I'm sitting on stage with the finalists and I'm nervous. I'm shaking like a stripper in Sunday school, okay? I'm shaking, I'm so scared and I'm so nervous. Like I was panicking, cause like I said, I've never done this before. Not only that, but now I'm meeting my man for the first time, like girl. So I'm sitting on this stage and I'm getting ready to read or whatever. And ironically, I was the first person to go I was the first person to go. So I go, I get up, I read my story, I sit down, I'm listening to the other stories or whatever. At this point, I'm tuning everything out because I don't think I'm gonna win. I don't know why I'm here. So I'm sitting down or whatever, and surprisingly, I won. Your, your, your girl won the contest, okay? I won the contest, and as a gift, they gave me like a Dell computer and everything. So now the contest is done, I get off the stage, and my teachers from ninth grade and my current 10th grade teacher, they greet me and they're like, oh my God, congratulations, we knew you could do it, da 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 da. So they're congratulating me, all of this. I get my gifts from winning the contest, and then I get a tap on my shoulder. I turn around, and it's Goofy. Surprisingly, Goofy looked exactly like what he looked like online. He had the damn neck braids, okay? He was six foot and he was slender. He looked exactly like what he looked like online. So I'm like, oh my God, hey, how you doing? Now I'm giving him a hug and stuff like that. And I should have known that this was the first red flag for me. When I met him, I didn't get butterflies. I wasn't really nervous. Um, I kind of just gave him a hug and I was like oh hey like I hugged him like he was one of my homeboys which is something I've never done prior to that time so I meet Goofy or whatever and then he's like do you want to go get some some tea or something so we go to a store nearby and we're talking about like my reading he's telling me how good I was and we're just talking about like writing and stuff like that at this point that's my man we locked in okay we met each other he was there to support me that's that's my man okay so now at this point we're literally like on the phone all the time talking to each other all up in each other's space texting 24 7 all types of craziness he would literally call me while he was in school because like i said he was in an alternative school and they really didn't have no ground rules for nothing so when i was in gym class and i was at lunch and stuff like that he would call me and we would talk to each other um at first i was fine with it because i didn't think nothing of it but then one day he this girl I hear her in the background. Goofy, who are you talking to? Why are you blushing like that? Who are you talking to? You got a little girlfriend? Oh. Okay. Me, the little girlfriend, is on the phone like, 
not saying anything i'm just listening to what she's gonna say so he's like yo chill chill back up you all up in my space he's playing with her or whatever chill back up back up she's like let me say hi let me talk to the little girlfriend let me talk to her for what for what why do you have to talk to the little girlfriend we have who are you who are you wait a minute who are you i'm on the phone like goofy who is that and why is she all up in your space he's like oh babe don't worry about it don't worry about it that's just my best friend a best friend when were you going to tell me you have a best friend when were you going to tell me you have a female best friend so i'm like why you never told me you had a best friend and why is she acting like that so he was like oh, oh she's just like that don't worry about it you'll meet her one day she's really cool i think you'll like her i think not anyway we're talking to each other and i'm irritated so i get off the phone eventually and later on in the day he's telling me more about this girl oh we've been in school together for like two three years oh she's stupid too okay but he's telling me he's been <laughs> friends with her for like two three years she's really cool da, da, da. her name is this and that whatever we're gonna call this <laughs> keisha we're gonna call her keisha so he's like, oh. oh yeah, me and Keisha have been really cool friends for a long time. She's always met every one of my girlfriends and she always feels like she has to give them approval to date me. I don't need no approval from no gal to date a man, ever, ever. So that shit needs to stop. So I tell him, listen, I'm not gonna play with you and I'm not gonna play with her. One thing about me, I don't need approval from no best friend, no sister, no nobody, okay? It's either you with me or you not. Like, what you mean? What you mean she needs to approve of me? The fuck? I'm annoyed by this or whatever, but I'm not gonna make a big deal out of this. Now, as the weeks go by, like I said, we're dating and we're getting close to each other, but then shit starts to get real. Shit starts to get real, real fast, okay? Um, so Goofy and I didn't really see each other often because of our school schedules and because my mom was super, super strict when I was in high school. My mama didn't let me go anywhere. When I say anywhere, she didn't let me go anywhere. Like, school ended at four o'clock, I had to be home at 4.30. Yeah, cause I didn't live that far. She wasn't playing with me. So, I never really got to see him and the only time I got to see him is on Fridays. The reason why is because my school let out early on Fridays and he would always go to Guitar World and Atlantic Avenue. I think it was called Guitar World or Guitar Center. I think it was called Guitar Center. Something like that. I think it was Guitar Center. So there used to be a Guitar Center in Atlantic Avenue in the mall. If you're from Brooklyn, you know where I'm talking about um goofy used to play the guitar and so he used to go there all the time to like test out new products and test out new guitars and picks and stuff like that and i would just go to like be supportive and hang out with him so frequently we would go there and i started to get to know the owner of the store or whatever and all the people who worked there and it was really fine like it was cool all we did was sit down he would play me some music and i would just sit there and listen to him now that was fine for a few weeks but then after that my mom started to get suspicious she was like well i know your school ends at three o'clock but you seem to get home at five. What is this about? So I'm like, oh, mom, I just be hanging out with my friends. Don't worry about it. No, no. My mom was not hearing it. You're lying. So my mom used to like, she would be like, if you don't come here by 4.30 every single Friday, we gonna have a problem. So I used to like go back home 4.30. I didn't want no issues. I didn't want to be in trouble and nothing like that. Now, Goofy is getting tight because he's like oh you a little ass girl why your mom won't let you go nowhere it's friday your school ends at four o'clock and you gotta go home at 4 30. i don't know if i can have a girlfriend like that well let, hold on hold on hold on on that hold on hold on now hold on so why am i here why am i here because the gag is i should have never been your girlfriend to begin with i'm 15 and you're 21. you knew i was a little ass girl when you met me why are you acting different because why are you being weird to me when you know i was 15 when you met me what's that about i don't, I don't get it I, i'm confused i was like i'm listening to him bark on me and i'm like Bro, you know I was 15 when you met me. What is this about? He was like, oh, I didn't know your mother was going to hold you up like that. And the thing about Goofy is that he's a Scorpio. And I'm not one of those people that like, you know, take astrology that seriously. But he was very, very aggressive. Literally, he used to say what he wanted to say at any single point. He thought he was right constantly. So we used to argue a lot about small stuff because he never wanted to let it go. He never wanted to give up anything. So he used to get mad at me and he used to really like yell at me and black on me. And at that point, it started to become super, super toxic. So I'm like, I don't know what you want me to do about this because at the end of the day, I'm not gonna get my phone taken away because I wanna see you, it's not gonna happen. For a few weeks, I stayed home. After you know four o'clock, I used to go home or whatever. But then gradually, I started to you know sneak back to Atlantic and go see my man. I would go see him, we would be in Guitar Center or whatever. And one day, he gets a phone call from guess who? Keisha. He gets a phone call from Keisha and 
he puts it on speaker and she's like goofy where you at where you at goofy i thought you was gonna hang out with me after school he's like bro what are you talking about i never said that but he's turning around so that i can't see his facial expression and he looks like he's about to start walking away and i'm like ah, ah, not on my watch so i start to follow him and i'm like where we going <laughs> where are we going why are you walking away so i'm walking behind him or whatever and i'm listening to the conversation she's like you never get to see me anymore because you got your little ugly girlfriend i said can Hold I on. Okay. Holy Spirit, activate. Oh no. Holy oh, Spirit, no. Oh, activate. No. Holy Spirit, activate. 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 Oh. All right, let's go. Hold up. 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 Hold up, hold up, cause no, cause no. So I took his phone and I'm like, who's the little ugly girlfriend? Who's the little ugly girlfriend? I was like, yeah, it's me on the phone. So now he's basically chasing me around the store trying to grab his phone away from me because this girl is talking mad shit and I'm not having it. I'm really not letting up because one thing you're not gonna do is talk about me in front of me, in front of my salad, in front of my fork. No. So I'm like, yeah, who's the ugly girlfriend? What was said? Just, I'm, I'm on the phone, I'll say it right now. So she's like, oh, calm down, little you're wilding right now you're doing too much that's why i told goofy stop dating these little ass girls i'm like don't you go to the same school with him little ass girl i thought little ass girls is a girl that's supposed to be in high school baby what happened you're 19 in high school give it up give it up she's like she's like oh watch your mouth before me and my friends come jump you i know where you go to school i said do it do it do it call me beat me if you want to reach me so I'm on the phone and I'm like, what's your problem? You calling me ugly, you don't even know me. She's running her mouth, like going off. So now I hang up the phone and I turn around to Goofy and I'm like, so what was that? Was that Goofiest? What happened? So he's like, oh, why did you do that? You really did all of that for no reason. That was so unnecessary. That's why I don't date no little girls. Here he go again with the little girl rhetoric. And it don't make sense because you knew I was little when you met me. So why are you being weird to me? He's like, oh, you're being a little ass girl right now. You didn't have to do that. You should have let me handle it. That's my friend. She acts like that all the time. And I told you she would act like that towards you. If you knew she would act like that towards me, why you letting this girl disrespect me? You just letting it rock. This is obviously not the first time she called me ugly. You you just gonna keep letting that shit rock. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. So I'm like, yeah, you knew that wasn't necessary. You knew she was talking shit about me and just to let it rock. Like that's your friend, but that's not your girlfriend. Check it. Keep it in check before I check it. Now he's yelling at me. He's going off on me. And I'm just standing there because the whole time, like, um, me and Goofy are basically having this argument and Keisha was on the phone. I basically got out of the store because I didn't want to argue inside of the store. So I got out of the store and he walked out the store with me because he's walking after me because I have his phone. So now we're standing in front of the glass in front of Guitar Center and we're like arguing with each other. Now, I'm not somebody who likes attention and I'm definitely not somebody who likes to argue in public. So I start to get embarrassed because I'm like, yeah, no, this is not going to happen. I'm not arguing with my boyfriend in the middle of Brooklyn in a place where anybody could see me. My aunts, my uncles, my cousins, anybody could see me in this area. I'm not going to sit there and I'm not going to argue with you, especially when I wasn't even supposed to be here to begin with. So now I go back in the store because I know I'm not going to argue in front of these people. I'm thinking he's the same. You know, I'm thinking he's going to exercise some decorum. He did not. So we go in the store and he's following me and he's still blacking on me, calling me a little girl, telling me how I shouldn't have handled it that way, how I shouldn't have done this, I shouldn't have done that. Now, I would admit that right now I'm a grown woman and looking back at it, I shouldn't have taken his phone because that is his phone and I should not have pressed that girl like that. However, I still do feel like as my boyfriend, you're obligated to defend me and you didn't defend me. You didn't say anything when this girl was calling me ugly. You let her keep going and going and going and going until I had enough. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that. So I got mad and I went ahead and I took matters into my own hand because, you know what I'm saying? I have a short fuse. As an Aries, there's only so much I'm going to take before I take it there. Yeah, I have a short fuse. There's only so much I'm going to take before I really take it there with everybody involved in the situation. He's still going off on me in the store and I'm getting embarrassed. I'm like, can you lower your voice down? Why are you going off? Everybody's looking at us. He's like, I don't care. I don't give a... I don't care because you should have never done that you little ass girl once again that's all you gotta say to me that i'm a little ass girl whatever whatever he's like oh you know what i don't want to talk to you right now you let me know when you could leave the house past 4 30. well nigga you let me know when you can graduate at 21. i don't know what, you want, what do you want me to say what do you want me to say 
goofy. What do you want me to say? So I walk away, I get on the train, and I take my little ass home. I take my little ass home. Um, at this point, it's just it's just toxic. We eventually start talking to each other again, but when I tell you we argued maybe every other day, uh, and it wasn't about little shit, it was about Keisha because Keisha only got worse. Keisha kept coming at me, coming at me, coming at me. Every single time he's on the phone with me while he's in school, in the gym, at lunch, wherever he is, Keisha's in the background, yeah, tell that bitch I said what's up and I still will pull up to her school. So if she wanna link me somewhere, she can link me. And I'm like, bro, can you keep your check can you do that for me so he's like yo chill out and then he turns he's like talking to her and he's like yo calm down i told you stop talking about my girlfriend like that you're bugging you're doing the most he's saying this to her but at the same time it's still like some humor in his voice because he thinks i'm a joke clearly he's just going off and Keisha's mad or whatever every single time i'm on the phone with him until eventually he just like stopped calling me while he was in school because he knew Keisha was going to be around so that was the end of that with me and Keisha Keisha never really pulled up she never really did anything because you said you knew why i went to school baby you you could have pulled up you could have pulled up like i said if you're not gonna take it then keep it on the playground because i am not gonna come looking for a fight with you i'm not gonna do that i don't owe you shit nothing nothing like Keisha baby if you think you're gonna argue with me about a nigga you done lost your mind because one thing about me but I at least some problems like no no I'm not gonna do it with you I'm not gonna argue with you over a nigga who's 21 and in high school you're 19 and in high school like <laughs> calm down baby calm down I'm like whatever as far as Keisha goes I'm done I'm over that shit I got bigger fish to fry because clearly me and Goofy are going through some things okay me and Goofy are arguing all the time I say all the time literally it got so crazy that like it got to the point where every single time he told me I'm going to call you, I would get anxiety. I would be seconds away from having an anxiety attack every single time he was supposed to call me. And that is not healthy. That is the most toxic thing ever. You should feel nothing but joy and content when you talk to your partner. I was shaking every single time he said he was going to call me because I thought that we were going to argue and I didn't want to do that. Who wants to keep arguing with their partner? I really at this point like our relationship is dwindling because I just don't like the way I feel when I speak to him and eventually like because I was on the phone with him all the time his mom one day she was in, she was always in the background yelling at him oh goofy come pick up your drawers off the floor she would really be violating him low-key but she was like goofy come pick up your drawers off the floor you mad useless da, 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 da. that's why you can't graduate high school like she really was on his neck every single time I was on the phone with him one day she was in a good mood and she's in the kitchen and I'm like what are you doing so he's like oh I'm in the kitchen with my mom I'm helping her cook and clean and she's making he was Guyanese so he was like I'm helping her make chicken curry and I'm like curry chicken but I was like joking with him about like him saying chicken curry and all of that and so he asked his mom he was like ma it's chicken curry right it's not curry chicken so she's like with her Guyanese accent she's like yes yeah, chicken curry it's chicken curry da 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 so she's like who are you on the phone with and he's like oh I'm on the phone with my girlfriend so she he puts the phone on speaker and he's like leah say hi so i'm like hi good evening how are you and she's like hi baby how are you um what's your name um and i'm like my name is leah so she's like she's like how do you know him so i basically say like we met each other i said we met each other through a friend because like i said meeting somebody online was not a common thing and it was kind of frowned on back then so i didn't i said we met each other through like a mutual friend so she's like oh, okay she was like how old are you so I tell her I'm 15 silence silence she, she doesn't say anything so then after that he was like he was like Leah hold on so he puts me on mute after that um he gets back on the phone he's like hello and I'm like yeah what happened so he was like oh nothing so then after that I hear his mother say in the background you better watch out for these little girls before you catch a case because you know you're not supposed to be hanging around with no little girls far less having sex with them or dating them being a their boyfriend no nothing like that you make such stupid decisions his mother was saying be careful with these little girls and don't catch a case because she didn't know what we were getting into but you know it's funny I never even kissed this nigga and that's the one thing I remember about him because I was before I could even like him romantically enough to want to have any type of intimacy with him, he started being toxic. That nigga started cursing me out, yelling at me, calling me all types of names. We never had sex. We never even kissed because that nigga was f***. Oh, wow. And another thing I want to emphasize, if that's not clear in this video, we never went to second base. We never went to third base. I never even kissed this man. And the reason I never kissed him is because before I could get like feelings of wanting to be intimate with him in any sort of way, he started acting up. 
he started acting a fool he started calling me out my name he started cursing me out he started blacking on me just being toxic okay being terrible just being the worst we never kissed we never did anything at all and he used to always be pressed about it i remember he was like oh why don't you ever kiss me and i was like i don't know i just i'm, I'm not there yet and that's another reason why he used to be like you a little ass girl what you mean you're not there yet da, 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 da. at the end of the day baby i don't care if you're my boyfriend or my husband if i don't want to kiss you i'm not going to kiss you i'm not there yet so this is not a situation where somebody need to call the cops because we never did anything when i say anything we never did anything like that i just i just want to put that out there because yeah i, I yeah we never we never we never did anything like that so this is not an, an instance about statutory yeah no it's it's not like that um but yeah this man was anyway and she was right he had no business dating me. He was way too old for me. So I, I was kind of like taken aback by that, but I wasn't offended. Um, it was more so enlightening because she's the one who had to say like, listen, like you should not be dating this girl. So um, she said goodnight to me. She was like, all right, baby, you stay safe. You stay safe, whatever. So then after that, she gets off the phone and I'm still talking to him. And it's kind of awkward because at this point, I was just thinking like, you know, we've been with each other for maybe about like four or five months and... I don't know like I think I'm at the point where <laughs> I don't want to leave you <laughs> um because of all the arguing and like the toxicity that was happening with the, between the two of us one day I just broke up with him and I was on the phone with him and I was telling him like listen like I don't think we should be together anymore because number one you're clearly much much older than me and I don't have the freedom that you have and so it's gonna keep annoying you that you can't see your girlfriend and I get that that's understandable I'm not mad at it however I can't really do nothing at the age that I'm at right now so he gets quiet on the phone and he's like damn so you're just gonna um, leave me and I was like yeah yeah that, that's, what it's, that's, that's what it sounds like I'm saying like I'm gonna we're, we're gonna call this quits I don't hate you I was like I still love you 15 love love key love but he was, i was like yeah i still love you i still care about you if you ever need anything you could call me we're still gonna be friends i still got your back no matter what but i don't think we should be together because this relationship is hurting me and it's giving me anxiety which it was i was literally in bed crying most of the time because we used to be arguing he used to say some pretty fucked up shit to me i was like yeah it just seems like it's not getting any better and so i think we should break up so i broke up with him and then I want to say like two weeks later, I texted him and I was like, hey, I hope you're doing OK. I hope you're good. Da, da, da. You know what this man said to me? You know what this man said to me? And that's why I know he's a clown. He was like, stop texting my phone before I get Keisha on you. What the fuck, man? So I'm like, what do you mean get Keisha on you? Like, ain't that your friend? Like, why is your friend going to press me over you and I'm trying to check in on you? So he's like, Keisha's my girlfriend. Keisha's my new girlfriend. Keisha's gonna beat you up. She's gonna jump you. I'm gonna tell her where you go to school. I'm gonna tell her where you live. This man is threatening me. You're threatening me and you're six years older than me. Pussy hole. Like, it don't make no sense. Whatever. So after that, I literally stopped texting him. I just blocked him. I was like, you know what? I've had enough of this, this shit. I've had enough of these shenanigans. So that was the last time that I spoke to Goofy and I really didn't speak to him again because I was just like, this man is unhinged. He is freaking unhinged. <sighs> so that's the end of my story, but I also want to say something. Um, the reason why I decided to tell this story is because I was on Instagram and I think Spiritual Word reposted something that I um was left speechless by because i remember going through high school and being in relationships with these guys who were older than me and had no business at all being with me um and it's not only goofy i've been in this situation again um and remind me in the comments below to tell this story eventually just tell me tell the other story about the other guy and his older guy or something like that and i'll remember but they posted something like that and i was like yo you're absolutely right you are absolutely correct let me try to find it oh here we go here we go here we go so they posted i don't know what high school girl under 18 needs to hear this but that grown man doesn't think you're mature for your age women his age just see the bum in him and he's a predator tell on him that's the reason why i started to tell this story because i saw that tweet that spiritual word reposted and i was like yo boy do i have some stories about this shit 
um and of course i want you guys to learn from my mistakes do not date a guy over 18 if you are in high school do not do it that man does not think you're mature he doesn't want anything from you except your little cootie cat emphasis on the little do not do it don't date that man he don't he's a bum he's a bum and everybody else sees it but you because you got stars in your eyes so just listen to me and don't do that shit so yeah that's the end of my story thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video make sure you like comment subscribe subscribe and join the gang 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 because you already watched this whole video you might as well stick go around follow me on all my socials that is snapchat twitter instagram and tiktok that is in the outro and in the description box down below call me beat me if you want to reach me i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next one bye y'all oh. <laughs> shout out to everybody i had fun